I don't know if this is too niche, but when I was a kid, I watched John Tucker Must Die with my brother in cinema, and it was complete chick flick, but it was really good. And a few months ago, someone mentioned the film to me, and it reminded me of Don Lothario in The Sims 2. If you haven't seen the film, basically this guy called John Tucker is going out with three girls at the same time, and they all find out, and they get him to fall in love with a new girl at school so that they can expose him publicly as a cheater. So we're going to do it in The Sims 2. When you first load up Pleasant View, he's engaged to Cassandra Goth. He's going out with both of the Caliente sisters, and he's also dating Kaylin Langerek, the maid. So I thought, why? Why not recreate John Tucker Must Die and expose Don Lothario for the bastard he really is? So we're going to jump into a couple of different households in this playthrough. So what we want to do is expose Don as the cheater he is and have him fall in love with the new girl that I've moved into town. And I'm sure you can guess from the title of this video what the end goal really is. But I am looking forward to this one. It's going to be really fun. So let's jump into it. I've reset Pleasant View for this so all the households are the same apart from here where we've got Donna Lothario. We will be seeing more of her pretty soon. But let's head into the Lothario household first. The Don's romantic life is really humming a Long. Maybe now's the time to put the moves on Nina Caliente. Pick up the phone to invite her over. So as you can see, he is in love with Kaylin, in love with Nina, is engaged to Cassandra and has a crush on Dina. I didn't actually pay attention then, but I'm fairly sure it told me to invite Nina. So <laughs> let's do that. Come on, Nina. I'm just going to invite you, not the household, considering I'm banging your sister. Don wants to win Nina over and it looks like she's slowly succumbing to his wily charms. Maybe now's the time to suggest a romantic soap in the hot tub. Nina, this isn't a hint, but you do have to get in the bath with me and it's a hot tub not a bath so that's going well but i mean the calientes live there your sister could see us at any minute let's go upstairs i mean she could still see us upstairs to be fair although this wooden lattice i'm sure will <laughs> really keep us safe yeah here's a cuddle then I beckoned her over with my engagement ring hand and she still did it. Nina, you, you dutty gal. We're going to woohoo anywhere. That was great. Get out. <laughs> Say goodbye. On to the next one. This place is a mess. Use the phone to hire a maid. Thank you, Don. Someone will come over first thing in the morning. Well, I guess we're waiting until morning. I will see you then. Kaylin has called me on the phone and the maid that's come is a man. But whatever, we get it. She, uh, He's banging the maid. Let's move on to the Caliente house quickly just so we can see them. Was it just coincidence that the Caliente sisters arrived on the eve of Bella's disappearance? And is their interest in more some a physical or fiscal. I didn't understand what the word fiscal meant when I was a kid, so I didn't really understand what that was at all. But that's good storytelling. I just wish I got it when I was younger. Anyway, the girls want a party and they're going to invite all of the friends. I don't think they have many. It's just Don. The party is Don and Brandy. Nina, get yourself down here. You're going to want to see this. Wow. <laughs> Imagine finding out your boyfriend's cheating on you with your sister by your boyfriend putting your finger up your sister's bum like that. But that's all I needed to make things a bit juicy. Let's head over to the goth household because that's where the real story is going to take place. Froggy, Jahano, love so nebre. Steve Poor Cassandra. And this is the mental break that we needed to make sure that she's fine with killing him. So it's all good. It work it's going to work out. I think what Cassandra needs now more than ever is her girls, you know? She's going to quickly make her know everyone. <laughs> but she's just such good pals with the Caliente sisters and Kaylin. I'll call everyone over. There we go. We've got everyone on the way. And she's dying for a bit of social interaction. Don't worry, Cassandra. We'll sort you out, girl. So the plan here is that I befriend all three of these and get them to move in. And that's when Donna Nothario is going to come into this. Let's see if we can do this quickly. Actually, gossip. Tell Dina what Don did. Okay, you're talking about an alien, but that's what she's she's saying. The thing that he did to her was so out of this world. <laughs> Okay, I'm friends with Dina. Let's move on to Nina. And then eventually everyone's going to be moved in. I might skip this bit. Let's jump ahead. Cassandra's got work in an hour. I don't think so. She's gone through a tough time and she's going to quit a job because that's what I would do immediately if I had a tough time. I'm not even calling in sick. Sorry, I'm just gone. See ya. What was I? Field researcher. Not anymore. Someone's going to have to research those fields without me. Okay, everyone move in with me. Nina, you're coming too, girl. Kaylin, same to you. Propose, move in. Now it's time to start planning the murder and I have just the way to do it. Get rid of this priceless family heirloom. Replace it with something just as beautiful. A toy making station. <laughs> and it's going to make sense. I just won't tell you how. Kaylin, this is your job. Make many. They're bricks a lot. Sounds like me after a curry. <laughs> 
Alexander brought a friend home from school today. That's fantastic. Unfortunately, you and Mortimer are getting the fuck out of this house. Sorry, Alexander. I know that you've just got settled at school, but get out. This is a girl house. So now it's just a house of four adult women who have randomly have this child living in there with them. Not living, but she's she's there. What is going on? Stop fighting your sisters. He's not worth it. <laughs> He's just not worth it. All right. Well, I guess you're probably going to do that the entire way through this playthrough. Hold on. First things first. I need to get rid of that homework. I will not have that in my house. No kids allowed. I can't delete it even with move objects on, so I'm going to put it up on the roof and forget about it. I said no kids allowed, so you're also going outside in the street. Look at the time. I better go. Well, at least you got the hint when she was physically forced out of the house. I hurry up and finish fighting because I have a job for one of you. I just don't know which one yet. Nina, you're a complete loser, so I'm going to give you a task to make you feel better about your life. You have to befriend Donna Nothario. So Nina, I'm going to send you out on the town and hopefully Donna is somewhere there. Nope, no one else is coming. It's just me. I'll just hand back here in the very slim chance that Donna just show up. It's not looking good, but Nina, let's get you some new clothes just while we're here. Nina has caught her sister cheating on her, so she's going through a goth phase right now. Here you go. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the Nothario household and we're going to make Donna make her own moves on the group. Just quickly change her into a goth outfit and then we're good to go. Looking good. All right, see ya. I've intentionally made Donna a nerdy character. She's got the big old round specs on and we're going to transform her into an absolute beauty queen. But right now she knows, oh, she does know Cassandra and she's friends with Cassandra. How did that happen? Oh, because I made Cassandra know everyone so that we could meet people. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Go to the toilet because you've got a big... Honey, you got a big storm coming and you need your needs as high as possible. Let's just wait around and see who shows up. Paper girl, not what I needed. Mr. Humble, not what I needed. Sell that. Is anybody going to welcome me to the neighborhood? Because this is fucking rude. I've been writing my diary for three hours. Finally, it's no one that I needed. <laughs> what am I on about? I already know Cassandra. Why have I been waiting around? Let's just invite her over. 7 a.m. seems a good time to invite someone around. Invite household. Come on, everyone. I want to be friends with all of you at once. Sounds great. We'll be right over. Can't wait. I haven't spoken to anyone in like 48 hours. So for the sake of the story, the girls in the goth house heard about this new woman in town and they're like, okay, we can use her. We'll just keep going until we are best pals and then we're going to move in. Can you two stop fighting? This isn't even your house. It's embarrassing now. <laughs> okay, that's good enough for now. Ask everyone to leave and we're going back to the goth house. I told you we're going to be bouncing around a lot, but this is going to be the last time we change houses. Helen, how are you getting on? Still not even got a bronze talent badge, so keep going. Again, that will make sense at some point. I can hear Nina and Dina fighting upstairs and I've just... I will take no part in it. Let's, let's invite Donna in. And do you know what? I'm not going to invite you in. I'm just going to ask you to move in. Yes. Now you are part of this conspiracy to commit murder that we've all got going on. So who still has a relationship with Don? Dina does still. All right. Can I invite him around now? Oh, Kaylin got a bronze talent badge. Good for you. Can my friend come over too? I want to say no because you're a dick, but I'm going to say yes because I want to see who it is. Of course your friend was another woman. Okay, Donna, now's your chance. Go talk to Don. So I've got no relationship with Don at all. I only want to befriend him because I'm going to try and win him over on a date instead. But let's hang out until we're friends because that's how it works. If you sit on the floor and talk to someone you'll be friends within a day he did leave i'll try again tomorrow wow sorry i've highlighted no here but i don't know if i'll let go it'll click it but don's just called his ex-fiance who he left at the altar if dean is available to talk yeah, she is. Why? You know, this one's for you. Cassandra, get over here. Badmouth done. Donna needs to know what he's done. Get Kaylin in the background, just doing what we need. And Dina, you're clearly the best dressed here. You're going to brag, but that brag is like, look at my outfit. You need to wear something fancy if you want Don to accept a date. She's saying she didn't like it. Not true. Get up here. Change into formal. We're going for the classic 80s film trope, where if someone takes off their glasses, they instantly become hot. Now, walk down the stairs. But I want you to walk down the stairs in slow motion. So it really does feel like an 80s film. I said walk down the stairs. <laughs> Let me try that again. Go up here. Hi, <laughs> ah, you've reached Don's answering machine. I'm not home right now, so try calling again later. Thanks. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, we got dressed up and yeah, we're feeling glamorous, but it's fine. The confidence is going to last. I mean, she looks very confident right there. Sat on the floor, just exposing herself like that. Donna, tuck your legs away. I meant close your legs. Tuck something else away. Light a fire and then sit in that chair so we can look devious while we plan. That's more like it. Perfect. You're going to do a great job on this day. Kaylin, did I say stop working? Get back over there. Yes. Okay. Kaylin's got a silver talent badge, so you can stop doing what you're doing there and make many kites. This is what I need. If you know what I'm doing, don't tell anyone. But we're making as many kites as possible. Okay, it's 7 p.m. You better be free. Community lot or your place? Let's go to a community lot. No, girls, it's just me going to stop asking if you can come on my date with me. Do you know what, actually? Everyone, you can come on this date. It's going to make things so much more difficult, but fuck it. Let's just, <laughs> let's just all go. I'm a bit worried that this is going to make everyone in the house hate me because I think half of them still fancy Don. All are in love with Don, actually.
Well, it immediately happened. <laughs> Everyone is mad that he's cheating because we're all on a date. The game's definitely going to crash soon. But he thinks the date is lame, but we can turn it around with my flashing head. Okay, it's a good date now. Let's go get some food. Just ignore the two girls scrapping outside. It's all good. I haven't got a perfect view of it at this table. Um... I will have the filet mignon, please. John will have... He really fancies a glass of water. And that's it, thank you. Oh, delicious. Do you want a bite? You're not allowed a bite. I will blow a kiss, though. Keep you sweet while I'm eating some delicious food. Look at that. Just blowing the smell of nice food to him because he hasn't got any. <laughs> You're in love with me and I just fancy you. Yeah, we've got him up to dream date. And this was not part of the John Tucker must die thing, but um, can we woohoo in here? I may have taken this too far. Woohoo. I didn't try for a baby, though, for once. Why are you cheering? I'm shagging your boyfriend in here. Woohooing your boyfriend. Very sorry. Stop slapping me. This was part of the plan, Nina, you stupid idiot. Does everyone hate me now? But yeah, half of them hate me. This was all part of the plan. You just don't get it. All right, well, I'm going home. We're all going home. Look at that. We're all walking in, not saying a word to each other. <laughs> but things have gone horribly wrong tonight. I mean, horribly right. It's exactly what we wanted, but didn't think everyone would turn on me so quickly. Anyway, Kaylin, I know you've had a tough day, but get back to work. Keep making that kite. Now I'm always in fights. Don, you're meant to be leaving me flowers. Stop celebrating that I'm smacking this woman in front of you. I do not want to give you the satisfaction of knowing that we're fighting over you because we're not fighting over you. Oh, and I lost. And don't even leave me my flowers because I lost. I wanted those flowers. I won't be losing a fight to you again. Let's get rid of this bed and replace it with a treadmill. If you want to sleep, you can't sleep. It's exercise time. Nina, you'll rue the day you fight me again. You should watch out. In the time we've been doing this, everyone's turned into a fucking superstar musician. She glows when she makes toys now because she loves arts and crafts so much. And these clever bastards just haven't stopped playing chess. Donna is now super fit as well. So uh, Nina ain't crossing her anytime soon. There we go. Level Level 8 body. Should be able to handle any fight that comes away. But more importantly, I need to invite Don round here. Why can't I invite Don? Is he already here? Yes. <laughs> That's very weird, Don. Why are you out here? But fine, I'll greet you. Don't run. It's desperate. I mean, she is a runner now. She's a runner. She's a track star. She is feeling healthy as fuck at the minute. Let me get changed into something more appropriate for this. Back into formal. I thought she had been sick. She was just smelling flowers. Don, do you want to get engaged? Let me just <laughs> show you my assets and my ass. And then get off my ass. And then we can uh, get engaged, yeah? It's all going to plan. It's not going to Don's plan because he didn't want that. You just asked me to play kicky bag immediately after I proposed to you. I feel like that's not an appropriate response. Don, I need you to move in just until the morning. I want my wedding to be in the day. We've earned so much money from all the people that have moved into this house. <laughs> oh, yes. Hang on. It's my first fight since getting super fit. You don't stand a chance here, Nina. Although it looks like she's winning there. I still lost. Nina, how strong are you? It is seven in the morning. Everyone get out here. I'm getting married. It'd be nice to see what a wedding looks like when it works. If it works, actually. I have no idea. Don, come on. You must be able to tell there's something kind of suspicious going on. <laughs> all, everyone here has been in a relationship with you. They actually all look pretty happy about it happening and I don't understand why, but I am fine with it. Anyway, Kaylin, all of your hard work is finally about to pay off. I've made five metallic heights. And if you don't remember what that means, the metallic kites were way more dangerous than they actually looked. So Don, I want you to fly a kite, but first I want everyone to hate you. Let's drag that relationship right down so I don't care that you die. Everyone stop fighting, please. I need to, uh, <laughs> I need to kill Don. Come on then, Don, let's finally get you playing with this kite. Jesus. So it looks like he's having a very nice fun time with his metallic kite. There we go. <laughs> and she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> okay. I kind of expected him to die from the shock, but I guess we'll just let him burn. We're all panicking about the fact that there is a fire. We're not panicking that you're on fire. And he's gone. He went really fast then. That was playing at normal speed too. Does anyone care? <laughs> okay, Dina doesn't care at all. And Nina just sweeps him up like he's nothing. Get him straight in the bin. And there we go. Nina's literally ending it by putting Don in the bin. <laughs> and I'll end it by making oh, everyone friends again. That's nice. But yeah, there we go. Don Lotharia must die. So he did. I actually think that might have been the most effort I've ever put into a video for YouTube before. But that was so much fun. We finally got payback for him being a bastard. It didn't quite get to plan all the way through, but we got what we were aiming for. So I'm fine with that. But thanks for joining me for another one. I hope you enjoyed it. There's loads more like this to watch on the channel if you haven't watched them before. Or if you have. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. So I'll see you then.